Hey there all YouTubers, Heavy Metal Barbecue here. Can you believe it? I got barbecue tagged by my man Leland over at Holland Smoke Barbecue. Well, I want to thank you Leland because this tag I could relate to. I'm a barbecue channel, I can relate to barbecue. So let's get started. First question, what's your go-to smoker? Well, my go-to smoker has to be my Masters of Metal smoker. It's my generic, made-up version of the Weber Smoky Mount, the 22 and a half inch kettle. I just love that thing. I hook that stoker up to it, just set it and forget it. That thing just goes for hours and hours and hours. I just love that thing. Question number two. What's your go-to rub? Well, I have to say my go-to rub has to be the Hey Boy, hey boy Rub from my man JB. This stuff is just great on everything. Uh, you just can't go wrong. I don't know what he's got in here or how he come up with it, but this has to be my go-to rub. My second favorite lately is Leland's Holland Smoke Rub. This is very good. A lot of paprika in here, which I really like. I'm a paprika guy. This is really good. Had it on chicken, had it on pork ribs, and I'm getting ready to use it on uh, turkey breast, so I can't wait. Hey, I just had an idea. We're going to get the best of both worlds going on at. I'm going to get a little bit of hay boy and a little bit of Holland smoke going. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to try it out. Now, for beef, I have to say, I kind of like this uh, Traeger Prime Rib Rub. It's It's been very good on beef. I, I like it. I put a little bit on uh, brisket when I do brisket. It's, it's good stuff. And one other uh, rub to mention, this uh, charcoal-based uh, Owens Barbecue Tatanka Dust. Uh, I really like it, especially when I use the pellet grill. I put a little bit of this on there, and... Uh, it gives the meat a little bit of that charcoal flavor that everybody likes because you can't get that with your pellet. So, okay. Question number three. Baby backs or spare ribs? For me, it has to be the spare ribs. I could get them cheaper. I could trim them down to the St. Louis cut. Use that top extra piece for experimenting with different combination of rubs and seasonings and I just like spare ribs. I think they're more flavorful. They they just got a little bit more fat content in them, and they're just they're just a better tasting rib. That's me. Question number four. Favorite barbecue channel? Well, there's a lot of them out there, and I really enjoy watching all of you guys. But for me, my favorite has to be my man JB. He, I don't know. I just like JB. He, JB rocks. That's all I gotta say. He just rocks. He, JB is heavy metal. All right. So, question number five. Favorite beer. Now we're talking. It has to be for me Budweiser. The only thing about drinking Budweiser, it's gotten to be very expensive. So. I found this natural ice many, many, many years ago. It's still made by Anheuser-Busch. 5.9% alcohol. You just can't go wrong. I like my Natty Ice and my Budweiser. Question number six. Biggest influence in barbecue? Well, my biggest influence would have to be roadside barbecue stands. When you're riding down the road and you see one of those rigs on the side of the road, it got the smoke puffing out of there and you and you 
get that whiff of barbecue. Ah, that that is just unbelievable. You have to pull over and you have to sample some. Now, to me, that that is just that just gets me into barbecue. That makes me want to try to make barbecue like those guys doing real authentic barbecue. So that's my influence. All right, question number seven. Uh, what barbecue question would you ask? Well, my question that I'd like to know from you guys would be, what would be your dream smoker? What smoker would you, if you had the, had the money and the opportunity to get it, what smoker would you buy? Asking myself that, what would I want? I'm kind of into these uh, cabinet smokers right now with the uh, slam latch locks on it. Just, you know, just something a little small, insulated, inch, inch and a half insulation on them. I just think those things are badass heavy metal. Eh, maybe one day. So, okay, let's, let's uh, tag three guys. And uh, all you guys are great, and I, I hope you hope you participate in this because this is kind of fun. It's kind of a subject that you know we can relate to. So the first guy I want to tag for the barbecue tag is uh, Dan over at uh, Smoky Goodness. I like what you do. I'd like to get a little insight on uh, what do you think about a few things. So Dan over at Smoky Goodness, you're tagged. And another guy who I'd like to know what's kind of going on in his head is uh, Joe over at Tango Joe. So I know that's, this is going to be good, so I had to pick you, Joe. Uh, I mean, you're metal, bro, so <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay, my third pick for this is going to be my man Sal over at the Root Boy Cooks. I love what you're doing over there. You like beer, all kind of beer. I'd be curious to see uh, what kind of beer you actually drink on a regular basis. <laughs> all right, guys. I really appreciate getting this barbecue tag started. And all you guys rock. And uh, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Rock on.